Within one month of the declaration of war on the 4th of August 1914, all suffragette militancy was suspended, all suffrage prisoners were set free, and Mrs. Pankhurst and Christabel were addressing recruiting meetings. The frenzied butchery of this war was eventually to kill at least 10 million. After being dressed in uniform, fed and drilled, cheered and cried over, these 10 million were then filled with hot lead, ripped apart by shell splinters, blown to bits, suffocated in mud, or allowed to die of diseases after rotting too long in trenches that they shared with syphilitic rats and typhus infested lice. Death having come to his empire, demanded the best and got it. The Great War was total war. The call-up of so many men obliged employers to call on women to do jobs they had been barred from before. Women's new responsibilities did not at first change men's attitudes. Male engineers believe no woman can have mechanical sense. If one of us asks humbly why such and such an alteration is not made to prevent this or that drawback to a machine, she's told with a superior smile that a man has worked the machine before her for years and that therefore if there were any improvement possible it would have been made. As long as we do exactly what we're told and do not attempt to use our brains, we give entire satisfaction and are treated as nice, good children. Women were paid less than men, but a job, her own money, brought a new independence. This was the first time that I really felt that I was a person, sort of doing something by my own um, wish and finding it extremely interesting, learning all the time and um, not being subject to um, authority too much, free to go out in the evening if I wanted to and so on. So we, the war, really liberated us. Most important for the women of the lower classes was the escape from the ill-paid drudgery as dressmakers and domestic servants. They now took responsibility for the household. Wives in the shop no longer talked about my boss or my master. Master had either gone to war and missus ruled the household, or he worked close to her in the factory, turning out cases on a lathe and earning little more than she did herself. Housewives left their homes and immediate neighbourhood more frequently, and with money in their purses, went foraging for goods even into the city shops, each trip being an exercise in self-education. The contribution and the bravery of women during the war led many men to change their mind on giving women the vote. Time was when I thought that men alone maintained the state. Now I know that men alone never could have maintained it and that henceforth the modern state must be dependent on men and women alike for the progressive strength and vitality of its whole organisation.
The beautiful summer of 1914 was now a long way off, buried with the half a million men who died in the carnage of the trenches. Peace brought no solution for the Irish question or stopped industrial unrest. Only women gained a victory when all over 30 were given the vote. Whether it was a reward for their efforts during the war or the results of the suffragette campaign can still be argued. But an important victory had been won.